guys um welcome back to my channel my name is brianna pride if you are a first time visitor welcome and if you have been subscribed to me for a while welcome back again um i wanted to take this time to do my first ever i think this is my first story time most of my videos that you've seen um are covers i don't really do a lot of talking uh, that's kind of a little bit taboo for me to be talking in front of the camera but I'm working on it uh, as you probably already know based on the uh, the title um, I just recently moved to Atlanta Georgia <laughs> um, which has been long awaited and I hate to take make this video even longer but I had tried to record a video for the purpose of explaining my move and everything that I was doing um, but it just my phone technology just would not allow me to do it I recorded and then I recorded again and then I tried so many different ways to try to upload it and it just wasn't working and if that if it's wobbling sorry I kind of have something a little ghetto hooked up here because my tripod is in Atlanta I'm actually home today I'll be home for a couple of days tonight um, and when this video is uploaded I don't know when I'm gonna upload it but tonight it's Tuesday I'm gonna be um, judging my high school's uh, it's not the beauty pageant um, but it's the funny pageant that they have um, it's called Miss Riverside that's where I went to school um, in South Carolina and I was the first winner uh, to win that title ah, so exciting um, and they call me back to judge it which is super fun because I've done quite a few competitions in rarely am I ever invited back they always invite someone else who won but whatever that's beside the point so this is my story time I had a lot of things that I wanted to talk about but I left my notepad at home um, well there I'm at home now but at my other home and so I'm just gonna roll with it and just let you guys know everything that's going on so I moved October 7th of 2019 that was the day that I left I packed up all my stuff um, and moved and I cried because I just was thinking about just because I knew it was not sad but kind of sad because I knew and I'm sorry hold on I'm sorry about this glare this is the best lighting that I could get that was kind of natural um, and so just get over that because it's just gonna be there hopefully nobody comes in and, and uh, interrupts but um I knew that it was something that I want to do that I wanted to do for a while um, and just to kind of make a long story short I talked to my parents and they were so supportive um, almost too supportive in getting me out of the house <laughs> um, and then I talked to my spiritual parents who are my pastors and they've been my pastors for like 15 years um, so they mean so much to me um, and so having them for kind of give me the green light and be like yes you can do this it was that was all that I really needed um, another thing some of you may not know is that um, I went to school for education and so I was actually teaching at a school here in Greenville um, I started out as an aide for kindergarten and then moved on to um, teaching third grade um, and education is my one of my you know music and music singing performing all of that I'm so passionate about but on the flip side of that I'm just as passionate about children well music a little bit more but I love kids and just teaching and being able to love on them and somebody's coming in to interrupt this but I'm just gonna keep it rolling so once they you know gave me the green light who's in the living room just come on okay whatever so um we got all my things moved um and it's been kind of slow lately <clears throat> it's only been about two weeks but uh the first week i kind of and also you know i was born in georgia and so i'm familiar my grandma lived in decatur we i grew up um there every summer we would go me and my cousins had a great time so you know the first week i moved on a monday I did a lot of exploring kind of per se like I was kind of like a tourist because it really was it's really not my city anymore because I've been living in Greenville you know most of my life but I went back home to visit her house and 
just kind of visit the city, the area that I was living in. I um, actually live on this, in the surrounding area. I don't live in the city. It's just a little bit too expensive and too much going on to be living in the city. But I live in the surrounding areas. Um, and I won't say where, just for safety. But uh, the first week, I just kind of, you know, got myself acclimated with being there and being away from home and being like, this is it. You're not in college, you know. You live here now. <sighs> and so um, that was kind of exciting. It's fun. I'm excited to be out of my comfort zone. But anyway, I'm, I'm starting to remember the stuff that I talked. I went in so much detail on the first video. Maybe that's why it never worked. Maybe God just didn't want me to say all of the stuff that I was saying. But then the next week, um, one of my really good friends got married. And so I was there in Georgia for... Well, it, I mean, the, the wedding was in Tybee, so I was in Georgia the whole time. But I was at home for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, getting things squared away, reaching out to some of my friends who live in Georgia and um, all of the surrounding areas and um, had a few connections as far as music is concerned and kind of reaching out to those people to try to get myself prepared because once the wedding's over, it's like, okay. So the wedding's over, um, and I don't really have that in front of me, and now it's just getting out here and hustling and, and doing my thing. Um, I'm excited about it, still nervous about it, still sometimes feel like, what am I doing? But um, God is ordering my steps every step of the way, and I'm proud of myself because there are a lot of people that, maybe that I don't necessarily know, but I know that there are a lot of people who wish or are wishing or wish that they had the guts to do what I'm doing right now. And I don't have all of the answers. I don't have a full-time job. I don't even have a part-time job. I was working bite squatting over the summer, um, just making some extra cash. And even now it's like, where's my next, my next $10 gonna come from? But it's okay because God's got me and I know that he'll supply all my, my needs. So that's the least of my concern. Right now, what I'm focused on right now, this week, next week, is finishing up um, my EP. I have one more song that I wanted to, that I need to record, and then another one that I want to re-record. Actually, a couple that I want to re-record before I actually get it all mixed and mastered and officially distributed. Um, but I'm also proud of the fact that I've released my single. I did that this summer, and uh, the EP is kind of coming out this year, uh, 2019. So I'm excited about what God is doing in my life. In I think this was this was a this story time was shorter than I expected it to be. My other video was like 30 minutes, so I think I'm leaving out a lot of stuff. But um, I've decided that what I'm gonna do with my channel is I'm, I'll still post covers, but I'm gonna do more vlogging, and I want you guys to see um, things through my lenses and what I what's going on. Um, just everything because it's so much it's so much and it's it's really exciting and some of it is scary but you know i realize i don't know how to do public transportation and so that's going to be my next my next adventure trying to figure out how to ride the bus and how to get on the martyr that's exciting but i'm gonna i'm gonna be vlogging a lot more um and letting you guys know what kind of things i'm doing and whether it's music related or just related to my life <clears throat> I apologize if this video was kind of dry. I understand the importance of uploading consistently, but honestly, I was trying and it wasn't working. I mean, I did everything to try to get <laughs> those videos uploaded, but I've accepted it. That was God telling me they don't need to hear all of that other stuff. So we'll just take this how it is. Um, you guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to know what's going on. Um, message me, comment below if you have a song request, something you want me to sing. I'm a little bit hoarse right now. I had a lot of fun <laughs> at my friend's wedding. <laughs> a lot of fun. And I've been traveling a lot. Um, traveling from South Carolina to Georgia, from Georgia to further down in Georgia. And so I think I'm... You know, I need to rest a little bit, um, and that's what I'm doing. But I had a great time. 
so my voice is not all the way where it needs to be but um i'll give it a few more days just kind of resting it out but uh if you guys have any again uh song selections anything you want to know please comment below message me personally and be sure to subscribe to my channel um turn on the the little bell on the right on the right to the uh, subscribe button and that way you'll get notified every time i post a video when i'm gonna have something premiering thank you guys so much for your support those of you who just come on here to lurk and see what i've got going on and those of you who really are are supporting me and happy for everything that i'm doing with my life i appreciate you thank you for that you can follow me on facebook my name is brianna pride you can follow me on instagram at b pride sings i'm on twitter and um go ahead and uh download stay the night that's my first single um I'm an indie artist. I'm doing this thing on my own. Uh, so I appreciate you guys sharing it and liking it and listening to it and all that stuff. Be blessed. Have a great day. I'm about to get ready for the pageant tonight. And hopefully I'll have another video coming to you guys. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this. I might just do it right away. I don't know. I don't know yet. But I'll have some other videos. Because I was doing some recording. But the way my phone is set up. You guys will never see it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. Bye.